So thank you very much. Uh, coming to your question, well, uh, extremism is is uh, uh, is a very uh, uh, it has been defined. Uh, you can find the definition in the internet also, but it's a, a view or ideology, a very strong view or ideology expressed by an individual, or and of course practiced by him, or a group, and. Uh, they actually not only nurse that view or ideology, but they want to impose it on others by violent means or by force. So in simple words, uh, it is a, it's a view, a very strong view or ideology, uh, which according to them is absolutely right and they are not prepared to accept any other definition of extremism. They think uh, that what they think is absolutely right and everyone else is wrong. So in, in brief, this is the definition of Sir, aisa kyu hai? Why is it that we are labeled as extremists, whereas extremist behavior has been observed internationally? Like there have been clans, there have been cultures. Uh, we have historical examples of world wars um, as an extremist behavior, like cultures which feel so ethnocentric that we are the best and we want to rule over the rest of the world. So why is it that Pakistan today stands here, where we are today? Uh, well, Madam, uh, I would say that uh, it would be totally wrong to think that it is Pakistan which is breeding extremism are we as Muslims are breeding extremism. Uh, extremism has different categories. Okay. It could be personal extremism uh, and to quote an instance for example, uh, one I can quote what happened, uh, what I experienced uh, in uh, while serving in Sin. Uh, one of the serving police head constables in district Dadu goes on duty and uh, his subordinates, his seniors do not know that there is something wrong with the person and suddenly he starts firing by using his own gun and he kills innocent people in, in the market. So he is arrested, he is interrogated and unfortunately we discover that he is a psychic case. So is there no psychologist at the constable level? Uh, well, when we experience this, we experience this for the first time, okay. such violent extremism by a person. So then what we did was that we started, uh, when we started recruiting the constables, the constabulary, we inducted in the recruitment team a psychiatrist who would actually observe and examine the candidates who would appear. But now look at the response of the society. The response we got was that is this an examination for CSS? Look at this police department, look at this police head. He has now introduced or inducted a psych psychiatrist in the selection of a constable without realizing that it is this constable who comes to the rescue, who comes to the help, who comes to the assistance of people uh, on the road, at a roundabout, in the market. It is not a senior officer who is sitting in the office. So unless we focus on this selection, I think we would not be able to serve our people properly. Another instance, this has happened in the month of July this year and I think uh, all of you would have read it. This has happened in Germany and uh, a Muslim lady goes to a public park with three years old son. She waits there for, his, for her turn to use the swing and she requests a male person there who is also with his child 
to let her use the swing now. And that person who happens to be a Christian, he starts using very highly derogatory remarks against the Muslim lady. He actually humiliates her. So, the lady feels very embarrassed, comes back home and she and her husband decide to go to the court. The court hears the case and punishes this person by fining him about 700 euros. He goes into appeal and when the case is being heard, this is a town of Germany, uh, most probably a Dresden. When the case is being heard, this accused who has been fined by the court and he is now the uh, appellant in the court gets up and starts stabbing this lady and he stabs her 17 times. The husband gets up to intervene. Meanwhile, police is called and they start shooting at the husband. So, a case of personal extremism which perhaps nobody would think of. So, uh, extremism, uh, this is personal, uh, they have family extremism, husband against the wife, could be parents against the children, children against the parents. Then we have institutional or organizational extremism. We have the group extremism. Uh, then we have the cultural extremism. We have national extremism and we have international extremism. World War, if we look at World War I, World War II and other wars, uh, we would, you would appreciate that that was international, international extremism. So, these are the various categories. So, extremism is not linked to, uh, to Pakistan only or Muslims only. Okay. I mean, uh, extremism is there in India, it is there in Sri Lanka. Indeed. The world's largest extremist body is LTTE of Sri Lanka. Okay. And that organization is composed of non-Muslims only. Okay. And 40 percent of this organization are women. Okay. Brigadier Saab, my next question is to you. What really goes wrong with the mind of an individual to start believing in such a strong ideology and then extremism turns into an act of utter terror? What goes wrong with the mind? Okay, that's a, a, a technical question, so I try and uh, make it simple. I think foremost we need to separate extremism from mental illness. Let's not think that a person who is an extremist is a mentally ill insane patient of schizophrenia or depression or various psychiatric. I, th I think it's very unfair with psychiatric patients <coughs> to bracket them okay. with, uh, with an extremist. And this is, this is a generally held view and we use this statement, you know? And so it's, 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 let's, uh, let's um, appeal to the youth here, let's not bracket these people with uh, the psychiatric patients uh, because let me uh, be very uh, straight with you as regards the data on it that psychiatric patients nearly always are non-violent people until and unless they are provoked. They will only get violent when they are provoked. On the other hand, an extremist is a person who does not require any provocation whatsoever. Okay. Without any provocation, he is going to sit and plan in cold blood okay. that anybody who does not believe in, in the way of life or thinking patterns that he has in his mind okay. has no right to live and okay. therefore must be decimated and it's been beautifully elaborated upon uh, okay. by uh, Kamal Shah Sahib earlier. Now, what goes wrong at a, at a psychological level is even more interesting. Okay. okay, if he's not suffering from mental illness, what's wrong with him? Well, the first thing that goes wrong with him is to do with his early upbringing as a child. 